really have time. But good night, Irene. This plant is full of peppers. One last thing that I did was I repotted one of the hydrangeas and I took a few of the bad leaves off, but I probably could take more off, but y'all, I'm not ready to yet. So look at that. So I replanted this one. So y'all, they're bigger than they look on the screen, but you can see what it was in before as to what it's in now. And this is its second repotting because I repotted these when I got them um, from the store. So they're gradually going up. So I still have to do these two. But I wanna see how this one does. I think in this third one, something is wrong with it because it just doesn't seem to be growing right and it's losing a lot of leaves. But I think partially it's because of the heat. Y'all look what I'm next to. Knockouts. Y'all, this thing is blooming like crazy. It's like a sunflower bouquet. Y'all, we got to take a look at the Fruit Loop plant. It is so beautiful this morning. Look at all those blooms, y'all. All the blooms are gonna fall off at the same time, unfortunately. <laughs> well, y'all, look at the colors. One goal I had for this year was to add more flowers because I wanted just for pollination reasons but y'all the flowers are making me so happy because you can almost get instant gratification from the flowers because they're just so beautiful to look at do y'all see that raptor raptor get off my peppers he probably in there pooping on my peppers hey 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 my garden tools uh it's like three days later. <laughs> Y'all, I have not been able to get out in the garden to do much of anything. And that's because I had like a family emergency this week. And also just a lot of stuff going on. So this is truly gonna be a short garden diaries for this week, maybe not so many parts as it has been, which is probably not a bad thing. Um, but I did get to do like one thing today, so I'm going to show you what I did. So some of the cacti that I purchased, I actually repotted them. Y'all, I got these cute little pails. Y'all, super windy out here today. I got these cute pails from the Dollar Twenty Five store. Y'all, they're in the flower, not in the garden section. They're like in the flower arrangement section. And I put holes in the bottom of it. Maybe I'll do like a short video to show you what I did. And I split the cactus up that came in the terracotta pots, which I'll go and I'll show you if you haven't seen that again. So I have a whole bunch of different colors. So here's red. We have a white one here. Here's another red one just had like a metal pale looking one you can see I just have like three of the cactus in here so hopefully they will live here's another white one here and that be that for today <laughs> I don't really have any observations um, I've been harvesting like no actually I haven't harvested anything for three days today is Wednesday and I think my last harvest was on Sunday so I do have some things that I need to pick, like some banana peppers, beans, of course. Oh, I have been taking the asparagus beans off, y'all. They are super prolific. I get at least like between two to at least five long beans. And that's a lot of beans for me. So I've just been putting them in the freezer. I had someone that asked me if I blanched my beans before I put them in the freezer. And the answer is a uh, nada, I do not. I just put them in the freezer, but my plan is to can whatever is left over from the growing season and then I'll blanch them before I actually can them. So for now, I'm just gonna go back in and relax. I don't have anything else I'm gonna do out here today. Actually, the weather is like perfect for working in the garden, but y'all, I have my delicate constitution today. <laughs> It won't let me work out in the garden, so I'll see you all on the next clip. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I, I just came out here, and um, I think I told you all on the previous Garden Diaries that I had a lot of things going on this week, so I haven't really been able to do a lot of gardening. However, I am still trying to do a 
just a smidge in the morning. So I get up as soon as it gets light outside before anybody wakes up and starts calling me. <laughs> and I start um, doing things. So the priority for me right now is just to make sure everything is consistently watered. So even though I have that, which should not be mentioned, it's only a partial irrigation system. So I turn that on for five minutes, that is it. Everything seems to be happy and not overwatered at five minutes. So I do that at five minutes and everything that's not on the irrigation system, I just hand water. And I still have some pieces to add on, I think I mentioned that too, that I can add on and get even more things on the system as well. So today, um, I also did some fertilizing. So I just wanted to make sure I noted that here on the journal. Today is, y'all, no, today is Thursday. Wow, today is Thursday and I only fertilize things that have blooms. So I use some um, more blooms, the Alaska more bloom. Those squirrels scared me. <laughs> they're so big and they're jumping through the trees. I used the Alaskan more bloom and I also used some uh, rose plant food. And even though it says for roses, I use it on everything that flowers. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'll go back and I'll do just the fish fertilizer for everything else that just are leafy plants. And so I'm trying to do things in steps because I just don't have time to do it all. And well, because y'all, it's a small garden, but I got a lot of plants. So, and then I still have to, I want to do the composting. I have to add more compost to the buckets and the plants and um, coffee grinds. I'm putting coffee grinds to anything that's kind of like a berry, like the strawberries, the ground cherries, the blueberry plant. Those are gonna get um, some coffee grinds, but you know, I don't have time to do that to, like all in one day. So each day I'm gonna do a few things since it's the beginning of the month and try to track it that way. So that's for journaling purposes. <laughs> Look who came to visit me. It's Peeping Tom. Hey Peeping Tom, how you doing this morning? He's like, could you just like give me some love? I'm tired of looking through this window. <laughs> See you later, Peeping Tom. Watch out, he's gonna run. <laughs> Y'all, here's one observation that I made is my loofah plant is a running amok. So before I go in for today, I'm going to take some of my little uh, plant ties, these little guys right here and try to um, train the loofah to go a different way. Y'all, I'm behind my trellis and y'all look. This is one of the watermelon plants and it has gone crazy, so I'm gonna have to train that as well. And you can see the loofah plant is going crazy, so we gotta train that. Y'all, look what else I noticed. We got a melon. So I hope he gets pollinated. Y'all, I'm not doing any threesomes this year. I'm just gonna let these do what they do. Y'all, look, we got some kind of eggs on the back of these. She's gonna need to do some spraying. So these are some leaves from the watermelon plant. And I took them off and y'all, I, I don't think these are aphids because there was a no ants. Sorry, Alpha. Just trying to get a better shot. See that? But I'm gonna spray uh, this plant today. I'm just gonna use soap and water and try to get the rest off of the other ones, but I took some of the most infected ones off. And as you can see, the leaves still look pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get the stuff off the bottom, but I'll have to do that later. Now, I also keep my eye on this hydrangea because I, um, I transferred it to a bigger pot and I also gave it some acidifier. So I'm gonna see if these leaves turn more blue than they are. And also, this guy is making some fabulous blooms finally. It took forever, but all the leaves fell off. And I think it's just from the heat. And I'm also gonna have to get out here and cut some of these uh, blooms off, these old blooms, so the new blooms can come on 
And I think as much as I want to leave them on there and let them dry out for the seeds, I think it's going to be okay. I got tons of seeds. This was the original raggedy, uh, <laughs> raggedy plant. Y'all look, I'm looking at it. There's something on here. This is a rose plant. This is the uh, knockout plant. I keep saying plant. It's the knockout flowers. But I think I'm just gonna cut that all off because there is a something on there. And I don't know if that's aphids. You know, we want to blame everything on aphids, but I think that's some kind of a scale as well. But these are looking outstanding. And so is uh, the Fruit Loop plant. Well, we're getting ready to get some more blooms on this rose. I just like the way the leaves look on this rose. It's, it's humongous. And also, just for journaling purposes, this tomato plant, which is a sunset tomato, has started um, setting fruit. Can you see the little tomato baby? Yeah. I went ahead and I took this tomato off of my uh, heat master. Y'all, just looks kind of funky. I'm gonna have to research this too. I probably could have left it on for it to get its color, but I'm sure it's gonna ripen up some, but these are like really small. And I know one reason why they're small is because they're in a shaded spot and that's okay with me. But I was hoping for them to be a, just a smidge bigger, but we got more tomatoes to come, so we shall see. All right, so I am all sweaty and it's time for me to go in. I can only do a smidge of work today and then I have some other things that I have to do. So I will see you all on the next clip. today already and it's only about nine o'clock in the morning but I also wanted to show you on the umbrellas I didn't show you how I kind of anchor them so here is the first umbrella that I put in and I actually put it in here to cover up my comfrey down here at the bottom and also my delicate celery plants as well so what I did was I stuck it directly into the trunk but instead of just putting it in the trunk, I knew if there was a wind, it could still blow off. Because if you've ever been to the beach, you know these beach umbrellas will fly. But what I did was I took a zip tie, because there was a hole in my trunk, just happened to be, and I stuck the zip tie through here. So every day when I remove this, I just pull it through this tight zip tie, and that keeps it pretty secure. And I have um, the umbrella all the way down in the dirt. For this umbrella, to keep it secure, I used one of these doohickeys that you get from the beach and it screws into the ground and then you can stick the umbrella in and then this screw right here, you can tighten it in and your umbrella won't fly away. And for the list and the bean patch, what I did was I just secured everything with uh, clips basically and you can see underneath here, I put a bar here to kind of hold the shade cloth up off of everything so I don't have to worry about the shade cloth falling down on here. And then I just secured it to the two T po uh, the two uh, TPs in the front, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see it a little better in the front. So it's a little bit of a lean tube and it's basically kind of loose in the back so that um, it won't bother the vines that are on the trellis in the back. They can still bind freely. And this one you've seen many, many times, and it's just a lean tube, and I have everything up here, which is clips, and y'all look. 
raptor. So I had to come back out and do that because I forgot. And I don't want my plants to burn up. There's no rain, it's not gonna be cloudy. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Time to get to work. Good morning. Good morning in the Liz Garden. Y'all had to come out real quick this morning. As I told y'all, it's been a crazy busy week for me. But I've been really good. I'm proud of myself. I think, mean, y'all, look at this. Raptor. Y'all, they kill me how they just bask in the sun. Y'all, I'm sweating like crazy out here today. I don't know why, because I just took a shower. <laughs> um, I came out and I did some quick, quick work. I put worm castings, earthworm castings, under all the plants, the edible plants, except for the carrots. And that is all I got to do. I did harvest some um, of the um, sweet banana pepper. It's like once you pick a few of them off, they are crazy. And of course, I got long beans as well, because I get long beans every day. Y'all, I'm gonna show you the banana pepper plant. Look at Francine and the lily pad crew. Y'all, look at the banana peppers. I just harvested off of this uh, this morning and it's like you pick one and you get a gazillion. Y'all, I'm also anxious to taste these. This is the biggest one so far. Got a little ways to go, I think. Y'all, my tomato plants are in full tomato production. This is Andre the Giant. Look at those tomatoes. Y'all, to be honest, it's not a lot to see out here right now. I mean, there's always a lot to see, but there's not a lot of observations because things are in place and they are just growing. And I just don't have that much time today. And the raptors are crazy this morning. <laughs> so I am gonna close out the garden di diaries for this week. They're gonna be super short compared to the three parts that I've been putting up, I think. We shall see. But uh, thanks everybody for coming on. Please make sure you give the garden diaries a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you have it, and I love to know your comments. And sorry, this week is kind of rushed. I feel like I'm not on my video game this week. And I will see you all on the next Garden Diaries. Bye.